Well hey guys, you join me back on with the Trans Spitfire project and I've had a bit of a clonking noise coming from the back of the car and I've identified that to be the rear bushes on the radius arm are actually wearing metal to metal. There's no bush left in them. Now the easiest fix would obviously be just to replace the bushes and be done with it. However, while I've got the radius arms off, I thought why not get rid of them and fit these nice new adjustable radius arms and that way it eliminates the need to have shims on the back of the brackets. So they're much easier to adjust rather than constantly having to undo these two bolts and shim them up and also you can adjust them much more precisely than rather than shimming. So I've got these rear radius arms from Jigsaw Racing who are now Lamar R on eBay and the brackets and all the other hardware I got from David Manners Group. So anyway, let's take off the old parts and fit the new parts to the car. So, providing nothing is seized in place, we should just be able to take out the nut and the bolt that holds the radius arm to the back here, and the nut and the bolt that hold the radius arm to the front of the car on the bracket here. And then the radius arm we may have to just wiggle about with a little bit and knock it out. And then this might come back a little bit, and that'll be the radius arm out of the car. Okay, that's the left hand radius arm removed and next step is going to be to remove the left hand bracket from the car now to do this we're going to have to get inside the car remove a bit of carpet and that should reveal the nuts where we can just undo those and then take this bracket off along with the spacers Okay, moving on to the workbench here, we've got the original setup of radius arm with its bracket and how it would originally be set up with these shims going between the bracket and the chassis there. Now it is interesting to note that at some point in this car's life, somebody has used a metric bolt to bolt the radius arm to the bracket here and because of the bush is worn out and this has been wearing away, slowly what's happened is the bolt is eaten away at the bracket itself and this is a metric bolt which should be an imperial bolt but you know the cars are 50 years old you've got to expect a certain amount of bodgery over the years so the first thing to do is to set up this adjustable radius arm so if I just stick it in the vise here and this is only going to be sort of roughly set up to where it needs to be so if I just unwind it, it's quite useful because these are left and right handed so you can just undo and do them up on the car, you don't need to take it off every time to adjust it, which is rather fantastic I think, you know, it, it saves a lot of messing about. So I'd say that's nearly about, I'd say that's about right just there, maybe a little bit in. I'm only doing this by eye. So, it's not precise, I will have to get the car set up, you know, four wheel aligned to have it done properly, but it gets me going for now, and at least I know I'm somewhat nearly correct, so there we go, that seems to be about the same sort of length. Then, because this is adjustable, and I'm not using these shims, 
I need to put all the shims together using my vernier gauge I can see that's about about 12 millimeters so if we just divide that by half we've got six millimeters so if we just undo see I've, I've clamped off the locking nuts here from the adjuster and if we undo that by six millimeters each side to about there and again just holding the locking up there and just undo the other end by six millimeters a little bit more and that's about right there I'll just try to turn it in a little bit just in case just one that needs coming out again so yeah that's about six millimeters each end and then again just put the locking nuts back to there and there and that length there should then be the same length of that and that with the shims on the end so I can now lock these off in the vise here and not to go mad locking them off because they are going to be adjusted again at some point when I get the car set up for four wheel alignment just get it straight up there that should do just a little bit more there that's about right and then if we just open up our new bushes. I've gone for Super Pro bushes. I quite like Super Pro bushes. I think that they are a very good style of poly bush. And they always come with this little sachet of lubrication just to make life easier putting them in. And nicely squeezed into place here we are that's one end a little bit of super pro lubrication through there should just be able to push the tube through and of course <laughs> wants to fight back at me a little bit so if we just use the vice here just to get it in where it needs to be and there we are we've got to be careful not to catch the bush on its side as we put it in but there we are that's in nicely and the same on the other end. Here's a bit of that installation grease. And again a little bit on the distance tube. There. I can just use the vice again. We'll just get started on the bench and then stick it in the vise just to squeeze it home and there we are that is now ready to fit to the car I think we'll just put a little bit again some installation grease just around the sides of the bushes and just down that little distance tube I, I don't think it does any harm to do that just hopefully stops a few of those little squeaks by putting a little bit on the end there so there we are it's ready to fit to the car right then reassembly so first step let's put this bracket in place and I'm only going to just put it on by a few threads 
inside the car. Just do it on both the nuts so it can still move around a little bit backwards and forwards. That's just gonna make life easier when we put the radius arm in, in case it needs to pull this rear hub back towards the car a little bit. Then next we can get the radius arm in place, and I don't think it matters which end the adjuster goes, whether it's that end there or that end there. I'm gonna set it up this way around. If you want it the other way, it's up to you. So we just get that the top bracket there and the bolt in place there with the washer and nut and then the advantage of leaving that bracket loose just gives me a little bit of free play there to put the bolt in the other end here, I just need to give it a little wiggle around and we just send it home with a hammer there and get the washer on the other side and the nut in place. tighten up these bracket bolts to the chassis there or to the body and then we'll tighten up these ones get the wheel back on and that'll be this side done Okay, that's one side done, one side to go.
hope you've enjoyed watching me replace the radius arms and radius arm brackets to adjustable radius arms on the Triumph Spitfire project as I think it's going to make the whole world of difference in the setup of this car. But as always guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.